Well, welcome, and uh, we're very honored today by having our representative, the Honorable Randy Holtron, with us. Uh, we have been touring the lab and talking to the young people here that uh, push our science forward, and uh, he's uh, very graciously agreed to answer some questions. So, uh, welcome all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director. Thank you all for coming over today. Thank you, Director Ordon, and uh, all the Fermilab staff have just been wonderful. We've had a very interesting morning. I've been underground, uh, about uh, 330 feet underground, seeing uh, Minos and Minerva, uh, some of the experiments that are going on there. I've also been up about 15 floors, trying to see through the fog of today to see everything that's going on at Fermilab. Uh, I have known for a long time that this is a jewel. Uh, Fermilab is something that is absolutely precious uh, for Illinois, for America, for our world. And so many of the wonderful things that have come out of the experiments, the work, the collaboration that has come together. I've been struck by so many things that I've seen of, of uh, just the ingenuity, uh, amazing young people who have come from around the world to work right here. And uh, hearing again that many of the things, so much of what is done here at Fermilab is the best in the world, uh, that nothing can compare with that. We have our challenges ahead of us. Uh, I'm a new congressman, privileged to represent the 14th Congressional District, privileged to represent Fermilab. Uh, but it's challenging times in our, our world and in our nation. And we see so many challenges that are out there. But the work that's being done at Fermilab must continue. It needs to grow. I'm really pleased to be serving on the Science, Space, and Technology Committee. And uh, there have had opportunity to talk with uh, Secretary Tu and, and others as well uh, who are very involved in national policy for science. And what I've been doing is uh, talking with Pierre and others, uh, maybe not quite weekly, but close to that, of talking about what is important here. How can we be fighting for the future of Fermilab and really the future of this area and the future of science research and uh, our science laboratories here in America? And it's a, it's a big job, but I also see one of the things that was exciting for me today, uh, talking with students, again, from around the world who are here doing research and seeing the connection through their advisors who are on staff in these universities around the country and around the world, uh, and they are absolutely committed to the work that is happening here. For me, understanding even that research process of how do we get the next ideas? How do we look towards the future of uh, what's going to be happening in the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years? And what do we need to be doing today to provide the best possible world and best possible answers and uh, solutions for problems for our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids? So we want to be a part of that. I want to be working with Fermilab. I want to be doing everything I possibly can along with my colleagues here from Illinois. And I'm encouraged to because we really have uh, done this work in a bipartisan way. Uh, the delegation from Illinois, uh, both Senator German and Senator Kirk, along with the Illinois delegation, have been meeting regularly, talking about issues that affect Illinois. And clearly, our laboratories are one of those uh, issues that affect all of us. It is such an important thing for us to maintain a vibrant Fermilab and a vibrant Argonne as well. So uh, I've worked very closely with uh, Congressman Biggert, who serves on the committee with me. Uh, and uh, others as well, of just making sure that we are taking those next steps, of really trying to protect and, and increase the amount that is being spent here. And I think that is the challenge right now, and I'm sure some of the questions are going to come up, is what do we do in a time like this where budgets are decreasing and votes are coming up? I think it's a prioritization, and seeing that if we don't do this work, who will? Uh, it, this is the responsibility of the federal government, is this basic scientific research. We don't know what's going to come out of Fermilab, what some of the developments and uh, uh, initiatives, what type of spin-offs might come from the work here. But we know if we don't do it, those things won't happen. If we do do it, it will happen. We will see uh, advancement that we could have never imagined. Even walking around and talking about that, it was so clear to me that so many of the uh, discoveries that have happened we didn't even know exactly how that was going to come about, but knew the right experiment to do and, and how to bring people together, collaborate here at Fermilab to have that accomplished. So I am so excited about uh, the future for Fermilab. I know this is a challenging time, but we will get through it. And I know our best days at Fermilab are ahead of us. And so I want to be a part of that. I want to be working with you and with the entire family at Fermilab. And that's really the feel I get, that this is a family uh, working together from around the world, seeing that this is so important. Uh, and uh, we are going to be doing our work uh, here, but also out in Washington, D.C., making sure people understand that. And that's really my next goal. 
Uh, I was also talking with uh, one of the uh, postdoc students, I think, uh, who's doing a lot of the work underground, who's going to be out in Washington, D.C. in a couple weeks, bringing people together from all over the country, uh, postdoc uh, students uh, coming together to be talking about why this is so important, why we as a federal government have to be involved in this basic scientific research. So it's been uh, great to be here today. Every time I come to Fermilab, it's eye-opening, it's inspiring. I feel like there's so much more that I need to learn, uh, and I just get glimpses each time I come. So I want to keep coming back if that's all right so I can keep learning. Uh, but uh, with that, would be happy to try and answer any questions. Uh, just wrapping up, uh, my commitment uh, to you all is I will do everything I can uh, to spread the word to help uh, people understand how important this is to make sure that funding stays here, and ultimately, over time, funding grows here at Fermilab. That's my commitment. That's going to be my work, and I look forward to working with everyone here at Fermilab to make sure that we get that uh, as soon as possible. So thank you all with that. We'd be happy to try and answer any questions that the press has.